Howdy all, I'm Adam the Renaissance Nerd. Whether you're a gamer or an anime fan right now, you are probably aware that there is a very heated fight going on against the Western localizers. What are Western localizers? They are the industry that take the Japanese product and generally translate it for the Western audience. For decades, it's been a love-hate relationship. Sometimes they get it right. Way back in the 90s, they really got it wrong. For a while, we've had it pretty good until the past few years where now they are all admitting, whether it's in anime or gaming, that they are happily pushing their agenda into translations, many times ruining the intended idea that the creator has. One Piece. I love One Piece. I'm a big One Piece fan, huge One Piece guy. I've been watching it for over 20 years now. In fact, I'm in the middle of a rewatch, which ironically connects to today's story because I just watched that arc. What are we talking about? Well, Netflix recently got the rights to air a lot of the One Piece anime. Funimation did it first, and frankly, Funimation did it pretty well. We have problems with Funimation with what they've done in the past, but they did it all right. But Netflix now is basically streaming One Piece anime to follow up the success of the One Piece live action, which only was a success because of Ichiro Oda. We call him Oda Sensei out of respect because Oda Sensei kept it on the tracks, kept it on the rails, got it to its destination where it's going to get a season two, which has a very high bar to cross. We'll wait and see on that, but we're not here to talk live action. We're here to talk to anime because Netflix's localization of One Piece anime changes term new comma into new trans. That's right. They have injected their ideology, their not-so-secret agenda into something that was already friendly to that argument. Oda Sensei, with the creation of Ivan, or or Imperial Ivanakov, you want to say the full name, but Eva, we'll call it, we'll say Eva the way Luffy does. Eva's introduction of new comma of his, of his kingdom of drag queens. He already embraced that whole thing. Yes, did he make a joke out of it? Sure. Did he have Shanji turn into a drag queen for a while? Sure, but it was done in a joke, but it was still done out of showing that this exists and that it's okay if you're an adult. But no, the woke tards, these, this infant infestation, this cancer that is everywhere, they have to ruin it even more. Let's read through this and I'll, uh, and you'll get the idea. The latest case of Western anime industry overriding a Japanese creator's original creative vision with their own and ironically stereotype-based worldviews, the subtitles, remember, Funimation already did this. I said Funimation already dubbed and subbed One Piece professionally. Once already. And in the dub, they say new comma. They say new comma all the time. I just watched Impel Down. And I was watching the dub because I was lazy and I didn't feel like reading subtitles. The subtitles to Netflix's in-house Japanese to English localization of One Piece have been found to feature a loaded change to the series creator Oda Sensei's concept of new comma. Ever since the launch in 1999, One Piece has been and continues to be one of the most genuinely diverse series in the history of anime and manga. Its large roster of characters and locales offering representation to nearly every possible identity on the face of the earth. Obviously, this includes the Alphabet community, who Oda most notably included in his Shonen Adventure story by the way of Kamabaka Kingdom's resident population of Okama, named after the Japanese slang word used to refer to not just gay men, but specifically those who are particularly effeminate or engage in cross-dressing. The Okama peoples consist entirely of cross-dressers, drag queens, and transgender women, who all of whom swear fealty to their own Rocky Horror Picture homage of a leader. Imperial Ivanikov or Eva for short and let's just leave Eva's big old head right here Eva's power as well his devil fruit power is to genetically change people he can inject hormones at will into you and change you from a man to a woman a woman to a man and you are full that's a full and I use the term unironically transition they literally are no longer man they are woman or no longer woman a man it was okay we all kind of laughed at it when it happened. We go, oh, man, Oda, what did you do? What did you do, Oda? But it was all right. 
because it was done in a humorous, intelligent manner. But then you get here to Netflix, and let's just skip right. This is Sanji's era on uh, New Kama. Let's go right to the change right here. They have, there it is. This is the, uh, when Eva has decided to help Luffy escape Impel Down, him and his entire entourage say it's a beginning for new comma because they are going to fight back. They're going to escape, go out there and everything. They're going to have a great time because these are jolly happy people. Nothing wrong with them. But here's the Netflix one. It's a new beginning for the new trans. This is pure agenda. There's no entertainment in this. There's no escapism in this. There's no positive messaging in this. This is purely because they can. This is because Oda is not directly involved in Mark. This is Toy that is involved in it. They are the ones who are keeping track of this. Oda would not have allowed this. In fact, he kept them from doing this kind of shit in the live action because this is his baby. This is his, this is his magnum opus. This is his greatest work that he will ever produce. He would not let this happen. This is why I say do fan subs. Don't watch this on Netflix. Find a good fan sub. They're out there. Find it. Watch it. Enjoy it that way. Do not rely on these ideologically driven parasites to give you your entertainment. And I got to say, the dub did it better because they were true to the manga, the source material. They didn't change anything. They didn't alter the dialogue. They talk about all the alphabet community stuff in the Impel Down arc. It's all over the place. I just watched it. And it's not offensive. I'm not frightened. I'm not scared as a straight man. It's all done in humor. It's all done with goodwill because Oda is just having a good time and he wants you to have a good time too. But these assholes who are pushing this agenda crap, they want to control you. They want to control language. They want to control how you think. They want to control the message. They want to make sure that they steal the true meaning, whether it's in an anime, whether it's in a video game. They want to steal it. They want to corrupt it. They want to pervert it. And they want to keep it from being what it's meant to be so that they can steal it, hijack it, create it as a vehicle for their wacko, degenerate agenda. Don't watch this on Netflix. Don't show protest that way. There are other ways to watch One Piece. All right, just, or just, you know what? Just buy it. Buy it. It's worth it. It's One Piece. It's fantastic. You're gonna have a good time. You don't need Netflix. You don't need localizers. And frankly, localizers are on the way out. I would not be surprised in the near future if the motherships in Japan, whether they go the AI translation route or they push aside the current day industry and go to independents who truly love this stuff, who truly have a passion because they are the passionate fan who will do right by the source material. Japan, they've had enough of this. And we, the fans, oh, we've long since had enough of this. F you Western localizers. F you Netflix for a lot of reasons today. God damn. I love One Piece. Go watch it, but don't watch it on Netflix. All right, I'm done. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, a like would be very much appreciated. If you are new here, I invite you to subscribe to me right here on YouTube. We're able to earn your trust and support using facts and logic because facts and logic do not care about whiny stand, fake fan, and SJW fees. Hit the notification button. Show my videos. If you like what I'm preaching, and by all means, leave a comment. Love to hear from the true passionate fan of One Piece. I care what you think. I do not care what the stands, fake fans, and tourists have to say. They're all cowards behind keyboards. And when they re at me, they cry at me. They try to claim that Yamato is a trans icon. I just say, go F yourself in the ear and go cry in your corner because I am not going to stop. Thank you again for watching. Take it easy. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you'd like to reach out to me, please email me at therandnerd at gmail.com for all channel business purposes. I am on Twitter now mostly for promotion and sharing of videos, maybe a little shit stirring here and there, who knows, at the Ren Nerd. You can also find me at the Geeks and Gamers forums under at Roas, and you can see me on Rumble and Odyssey under the Renaissance Nerd. Thanks again for watching. Take it easy.